we can start. Okay. Okay, uh, hello everyone and uh, good morning. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us and welcome to Unlocking Funding and the Networking Opportunities, um, Horizon Europe Workshop with the Euraxis African Program. Uh, today we are so excited to have uh, with us uh, um, the uh, the Vice President for Students Affairs, uh, Professor um, Hossein, uh, who will be giving a short uh, welcoming um, words to the webinar and maybe a brief presentation about Hilwan um, Unity. So the floor is yours, Professor Hossein. Uh, thank you very much uh, and welcome to this webinar on the funding opportunities within the horizon uh, framework of the European Union. Uh, Halwan University is very much interested in internationalization and building uh, corporations with different universities around the world and uh, foremost, of course, are the European universities with which uh, we have had many uh, relations and many joint programs over the last years. Uh, Halwan University is, is one of the major universities in Egypt. We have about 200,000 students uh, and 15 campuses scattered around uh, Cairo. Uh, Helwan University was established in 1975, but we have many faculties that date back uh, many, many years back. Uh, we have a faculty that started in 1839 and other faculties in 1908 and 1960s, etc. And all these faculties were put under the umbrella of Helwan University when it was established in 1975. Uh, we have uh, several uh, joint degrees and several joint programs with the European universities. Uh, most of them are German universities, with which we have uh, double degrees and joint degrees programs. Uh, we have uh, several scientific cooperations uh, with uh, universities in, in, in France and in Germany and Italy. And we'd like to uh, further expand uh, this uh, cooperation with other universities uh, within the European uh, network. Uh, so again, uh, welcome to this webinar. I hope it will be useful and uh, I hope that you get the necessary information to build up relations and to apply for Horizon Fund. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear professor, for your kind words and uh, your, uh, your support always for all the activities that we are performing, especially the, 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 the activities that in relation to internationalization and joint, uh, and joint uh, international projects. And now uh, we are welcoming uh, Professor Dr. Mohamed Shimi, the Director of the International Relations Office, for uh, also a few words uh, of welcoming the participants and maybe a brief about the kind of activities performed by the IRO. So the floor is yours, Professor. Uh, thank you so much and uh, hello for everyone. Okay, and I really uh, appreciate uh, this, uh, the, the first this kind of the webinar and participant uh, was really coming here that we had the first kind of you know kind of cooperation between uh, Hayon University International Relation Office and uh, you know European uh, you know Erasmus project uh, plus and one of uh, the sessions starting today and we are looking for mostly uh, of uh, cooperation in different uh, kind of fields belonging to internationalization uh, uh, invitation uh, you know uh, projects that is we were looking forward to uh, Corporate together uh, after this really, uh, you know, uh, very, uh, you know, uh, appreciate words coming by Professor uh, uh, Sam Rifai, uh, you know, that, that by Vice President of Hemingway University. Uh, I'm coming here just to welcome everyone because uh, the Professor, uh, Professor, Professor Rifai uh, covered mostly of, uh, you know, briefly about uh, uh, Hemingway University, one of, uh, you know, one of the mostly important and, uh, you know, ambitious uh, uh, university in, in, in Egypt and especially in Cairo, uh, uh, especially, especially in this, uh, the field of different kind of disciplines and majors. Uh, um, I will not be uh, longer uh, talks right now, but just to uh, welcome everyone. I really uh, appreciate uh, your participation today. And uh, um, no, really, uh, we are looking for most of cooperation uh, between our university and, uh, you know, Erasmus and Project and uh, that is uh, would be the first step not just last thank you so much and uh, welcome for everyone thank you so much dr mohammed for your kind words uh, and um, now uh, um, actually uh, we also excited uh, to have dr ahmed malal 
the regional representative for your access Africa who will be um, uh, accompanying us in a brief uh, journey um, about uh, the funding and networking and opportunities within the very prestigious uh, uh, Horizon uh, Europe uh, program. Um, myself and uh, any of the guest speakers are happy to answer questions uh, as we are uh, go along, please feel free to post them in the chat box at the bottom of the screen. Um, there also we there also be will be a time session at uh, um, at the very end, and maybe Dr. Uh, we can share also the presentations and the recording with the participants if uh, if this is okay. Uh, and uh, lastly, um, we are um, very grateful for your time and uh, for your dedication and your enthusiasm to be a part of this uh, very huge and important uh, event. Uh, uh, your participation is very valued and uh, recognized. So thank you so much. And I, I won't be uh, talking too much. So uh, uh, <laughs> let's uh, uh, hear from Dr. Ahmed now. And uh, uh, I hope you enjoy every single minute. And we'll be receiving your question, of course. Thank you so much, Dr. Ahmed. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Lamia. Sabah al khair min Ramadan Mubarak. So I will uh, start uh, my presentation today to present, first of all, uh, your access Africa hack. And after I will move forward to the practical online workshop, I will uh, try to uh, give you uh, the first demonstration related to your access platform and after that we will move to ftop platform when we will see how can uh, find opportunities and how we can apply as researchers from egypt and from helwan university so let's i will try to share my screen if it is okay tell me please uh, dr lemia Is it okay or not? Yes, yes, uh, we can see the screen, but maybe you can uh, yes. maximize. Yeah. Yes, the, yeah, this is the yeah, full screen. Perfect. Yes, okay, thank you very much. Uh, so uh, I will present myself. So I am the regional representative for Euraxis Africa, but I am uh, uh, also associate professor at University of Sousse in Tunisia and uh, former head of project management office at University of SUS and work package leader for Tunisian Euraxis platform and also Horizon Europe digital national contact point uh, uh, in uh, 2021 and Horizon 2020 ICT national contact point in Horizon 2020 uh, the European program. So, your access worldwide in general is a European initiative backed by the European Commission consisting of services, portals and tools dedicated to researchers working outside of Europe who wish to connect with their fellow professionals in, or engage in research and innovation, collaboration and career opportunities in Europe. And uh, uh, we provide mainly uh, free access to information about research in Europe, opportunity for opportunities for research funding, and international collaboration and transnational mobility. It links researchers in worldwide, mainly in Africa, mainly in Egypt, to Europe, and the network is open to all nationalities and research fields. So, as you see here on this map, you have. The, the network of your access worldwide. And we are in North America, we are in Latin America and Caribbean, in India, China, Asia, Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and also we are in Africa. And uh, the main task is of your access Africa. Uh, for us, we, we uh, first of all, management and development of the your access Africa network, support uh, for support of uh, for African researchers, and uh, uh, also promoting European research opportunities in Africa, and finally reinforce the networking with all LNI African actors by organizing events and activities that promote networking and collaboration and facilitating 
the exchange of information and expertise between the two regions. So this is the Euraccess platform. And as we see in 2020, we have the official launch of Euraccess Africa Hub. And as you see, I will show you after the demonstration, the practical uh, uh, demonstration, how to see the uh, the website or the portal of dedicated to Africa. As you see, we have the tab of worldwide and we, ha we have nine hubs and we have the hub of Africa. Of course, this yellow button uh, is for free and please sign up for free membership to your Access Africa to be informed, to have all information about opportunities and collaboration between Africa, between Egypt and Europe. So this is some photos from our activities in uh, two years ago. So here in uh, Morocco with the uh, uh, University of Agadir. This is a uh, well, practical workshop in, uh, in Kenya, Nairobi. This is with the Faculty of Science and Technology in, uh, in Kenya also. This is with Ain Shams University, uh, also in, in Egypt. This with nine University. This in Cape Town in, uh, in South Africa. This one uh, also in Egypt, in Cairo, when we, uh, 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 this is the event dedicated to the launch of the Mediterranean Initiative. This is in uh, Kigali, in Rwanda, the Euractus Africa Day. Uh, this is the, we have anchor session in the morning and uh, in the afternoon. We have the practical workshops, how to write uh, a good proposal in Horizon Europe. This is the same, but in Kenya, in Nairobi, with the University of Nairobi. This one with Addis Ababa University in June 2023. This one in South Africa, uh, also uh, in some universities. Uh, also uh, this in South Africa, and uh, VAR, the University of Technology, also, also in, in Pretoria, in South Africa. This one in Morocco, this one in Algeria, this one in Addis Ababa uh, University. Uh, last month, we organized a big event. And as you see, these uh, practical workshops, and we, we, we uh, give a lot of uh, information and useful information and useful guides, guide, the guideline to to use how to use the platforms and how to apply and how to get the opportunity. So what can we do for you? First of all, we promote your national research landscape. We promote your funding opportunities. We promote your access network. We invite speakers from the network and we connect our researchers with your research labs. And uh, of course, we connect you to European scientific diaspora. So we use mainly the website the social media. Uh, we have every, each week we have a flash note. Uh, yesterday we, uh, we already uh, sent, uh, sent the, the first newsletter for 20, uh, 2024 and we organized info sessions. We organized practical workshops physically and online like today. And uh, uh, I will show you after how to see news and how to see the events and the URXs. And of course, join us, be informed, be proactive, click in uh, on this button to join our community of researchers. So this is for my side and the presentation. I want to start uh, directly uh, the presentation of the, or the, the demonstration of, uh, of the platforms. And I will start with Google, as you see, uh, here we have Google, and we. Uh, this is the first one, the first uh, uh, platform. And please, please, if you have questions, you can interrupt me anytime. And uh, because I, I, I would like to be uh, uh, to to have interactive session, not only uh, presentation myself, and and we have some questions. So I will uh, use Google. And I will put your access like this, okay? Your access, it means access to Europe. This is the means of your access, okay? This, okay, when I tap your access, you will see this, the first link, okay? You have uh, europa.eu. And when uh, we click on your access, you will see uh, uh, here the platform of European Commission 
of your axis. And of course, I will show you this demonstration. First of all, we I talk, uh, I already presented the worldwide. And in the worldwide, we have nine hubs. Okay. And of course, we have the hub of Africa. So I will click on uh, worldwide like this. I'll try to, okay. And I click on Africa. And uh, as you see, this is the, the portal of your access, uh, Africa. We put in the portal all useful information about collaboration between Europe and Africa. Uh, of course, the whole of continent and all countries in Africa uh, and uh, Egypt is in Africa. And that's why uh, Euraxis Africa, uh, the main objective is to bring uh, together uh, opportunities and uh, have the more and more impact. So we have here some news, okay? And of course, you can click on see all news like this. And uh, you will see uh, 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 some opportunities. For example, here, uh, this is a postdoctoral fellowships uh, in Turkey. Uh, and you can apply uh, as uh, uh, researchers from Egypt. This news uh, related to article, this one, we give a focus on your UK your access center and this mobility support for PhD students, MSCA postdoctoral fellowships, online seminar, Republic of Korea joint Horizon Europe program, and we have several postdoc and senior researchers fellowships and six many uh, MSCA from uh, uh, Iran. This uh, and you will see a lot, a lot of opportunities and news uh, related to uh, Europe and related to uh, events and related to job position. This is Euraxis Africa news, but of course you can uh, click on uh, Euraxis events. We have this event today. We have another event in French uh, with the uh, Ministry of Higher Education and, and Scientific Research in Cameroon. And when you click in the all events, I, you will see we have more than 68 uh, um, uh, 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 events. Uh, uh, so, and you will see uh, some events in French, some events in English, and of course, you can uh, click on uh, uh, each event. For example, this one, if you click here, you will see, you will be able to watch the recording video for this event. And you will be able also to download all slides for free. For each event, is, uh, uh, we put already after the event, all slides, all presentation and we put already the word, the recording video for each event. So I uh, uh, encourage you to see and uh, uh, do a tour in your access platform. And of course we have useful links related to Africa Initiative too, but actually we, we are with, uh, in the step to do preparation of Africa Initiative 3. Are we, after that, I will uh, explain uh, what means Africa Initiative. We have AU, EU Innovation Interface. We have LIPRI, this, the African European Research and Innovation Community on Renewable Energy. And you can, of course, join uh, this platform for free. And you can see, of course, some uh, videos uh, related to our uh, activities uh, in Africa. So, of course, we have the YouTube channel. And when you click on YouTube channel, for example, like this, you will see all recording video already done 
by your access uh, uh, Africa. I just click here. I click on your access Africa and you will see all videos related to your access Africa events. Of course, uh, 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 all videos are available, are public and you can watch each of them. So, uh, not only this, but I will show you uh, after how to use the platform of your access. So keep attention, please. Here, I will click uh, in jobs and finding. And when I click on find jobs like this, look the number. Actually, we have more than 9,400 uh, 53 uh, jobs already there for you and you can apply. Uh, we can use, of course, the keywords. We can use the filters and you can select the countries. Of course, if my field of uh, research related to, for example, health, okay, I can put health. I went to to see some opportunities, for example, in Germany, okay, or in Germany like this, okay. And after that, I will click on search. You will see you have more than 134 jobs related to health in Germany. And of course, you can apply. And for each opportunity, you will have the description of this opportunity and you will have the research profile if you have if you are phd student or you have already, you, ha you you are already doctor uh, or you are senior research you can click on uh, research profile and select if it is a first stage researchers recognize the researchers and the leading researchers and of course you can apply as you see here in Germany, this is a postdoc, this is academic research assistance, and uh, of course, if you, when we click here, you will see uh, the description of the job information, the department, the research field, and the application deadline, the full time, and offer description, and you will have the contacts in the, and uh, and uh, some eligibility criteria and of course you uh, i encourage you to prepare your cv and send this cv with the pdf file with this address so but for cv uh, usually i i uh, advise you to use europass like this europass cv okay this is for free uh, we look for europass TV, this uh, uh, for European Union. This is for free also. You will create your Europass CV for free and you can, you will be able to download your CV as PDF file and use and send this PDF file to the, uh, in your application. Okay. So, uh, here I am in this, uh, uh, opportunity of job. Okay. Uh, uh, but I advise you to read carefully uh, the eligibility criteria. This is, but usually all jobs uh, uh, are open to all nationalities in the world and mainly from Egypt, you can participate and you can apply to get your uh, uh, opportunity. As I mentioned, I already mentioned that Already in the website, the portal of your access, there is more than 9,000 jobs position already there. Why? Because it is mandatory by European Commission, each institution, each project, each European organization, when uh, 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 they uh, need uh, to offer some jobs, they are uh, uh, mandatory to uh, put this offer of job in your access portal. 
That's why we have all jobs only in this uh, platform uh, uh, of a uh, European platform. So, of course, you can use uh, all filters, all sectors, and to uh, search and to find the right job and the right opportunity for you. Not only this, but we can use uh, this platform to find members and to find organizations. Why? Because sometimes we need to search organizations, European organizations, or some organization in the world and try to connect with them to have a kind of uh, collaboration in the uh, in, in, in science and the research and the in the in the in the lot of uh, uh, areas. So what do you see here the number? We have more than twenty three thousand organizations from worldwide, and of course you will have institutions. And of course you can, for example, you look to to have, uh, uh, for example, research uh, laboratory in the thematic of uh, AI, for example. Okay, and we look to have this research laboratory, for example, from, uh, I, I don't know, but we, we have uh, all countries here from Denmark. Okay, we will try to put search. And I put AI, I will artificial intelligence like this and search. You will see. You have 70 or, uh, organizations in the field of artificial intelligence uh, in the platform. And of course, you can uh, uh, be in touch with them. This is from Spain, this is from Greece, this is from Romania, from Netherlands, from Spain, and uh, from the United States. And uh, of course, this is the mean, this lot of useful information, this platform, and you can use this platform to find partners, to find members, not only organizations, but on also members. And of course, it is for free. That's why I advise you to, uh, I, I will put a logout now because, and I advise you to create your account. Please, after this online event, create a new account, it is for free and try to update your profile, try to add all information about you, about your research, about your expertise, about your needs, and you will be able to have all options uh, to you in this platform to look to partner, to look to members, to look to hosting organizations, and to look to also to jobs, okay? This is, and from my side, this is your Access Africa, but I will show you also uh, how, uh, when, this is my profile, but, but when, for example, when find jobs, when uh, we suppose that you are already accepted, for example, in Germany, okay, uh, and you need information and assistance to, move to Germany. That's why we have the national portals. When we click here, the national portals, we will have a lot of your access portals. Af in Africa now, we have only Tunisia, uh, your access Tunisia. It is ongoing project because uh, Tunisia is associate country uh, in Horizon Europe and we have the possibility to uh, 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 submit a proposal as a coordinator. So we suppose that you are accepted uh, in Germany and we will click in Germany. This is your access in Germany. This is the center of your access Germany and welcome to your access Germany portal. And as you see here, you will have all information about visa, about the entry conditions, about uh, the schooling and family related issues, 
the social security and of course they this center helps you to have a good stay in germany and this is the main uh, uh, objective of each center of your access okay i think for uh, you this platform it's okay but if you have some questions please you can we can go uh, we can allow some uh, live questions dr lamia if you want before moving to the main platform of uh, ftops for horizon europe what do you think well i'm really excited uh, about this journey um yeah i have uh, logged in before uh the Uraxis platform but uh, i haven't had the privilege to um go through all this uh, um, 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 opportunities and uh, also uh, I was really um, surprised by uh, the platforms that you have uh, uh, in so many European countries and also in Tunisia. This is a very promising and uh, uh, and yes, um, we hope someday Egypt will have also uh, your access the platform form where uh, uh, our researchers and um, all concerned stakeholders can uh, have an account and uh, grooming and uh, searching for the opportunities. This is a very, very thorough and informative presentation. And uh, and yeah, um, I'm, I'm really curious about uh, the postdoctoral fellowships uh, opportunities. Uh, is it like something that you offer um, um, I mean, what are the benefits of the postdoctoral fellowships? Uh, the question for me, uh, Dr. Lenya. Sorry? The, this question for me, what, what, what are the benefits to have a yeah, postdoctoral yeah, yeah, fellowship? Yeah, yeah. Yes, of course, because you, you, will, you will be in touch with, uh, with uh, some researchers in Europe and uh, some colleagues from the worldwide. You will will uh, will bring uh, uh, a good research with uh, more impact and uh, of course you will have funds and you have a good uh, uh, conditions to to lead a good project to to good to lead a good uh, 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 research project but of course i will i will show you after uh, the, this is your access when we have a lot of uh, positions and we have a lot of jobs as you see, we have more than 9,000 uh, mm -hmm. already jobs uh, for yeah. all fields. And for if you are from Halloween University, you can apply and you can get a mobility for six months, one year or two years uh, with a full uh, uh, reimbursement. You will have a salary, you will have all, everything and move forward uh, and back, get back to Halloween University and of course, uh, yes, uh, I, I can I can allow some uh, live questions. Uh, please. Uh, Someone is asking. Really... Can I ask in Arabic? Is is it yes. correct? Yes. Yes. Well, no problem. You can you can you can ask in Arabic, but I can allow you to. Okay, we have uh, Abdullah. Yeah, please. Firstly, I want to thank you for that insightful presentation. Uh, I have two questions. One, um, I don't know, do you offer uh, internship, online internship programs for researchers from Africa? And uh, also, do you offer online training to researchers from Africa? Thank you very much. These are my questions. Uh, just if you can repeat the second question. The second question. The first one is okay. Yeah. Your voice is breaking up, I think. So this is uh, the the questions are, are not clear enough. So if can you can, can, please. Um, Hello, sir. Is it no. okay to write it on the chat box? Can you yeah, if you can write, yeah. If you can write in the chat box. Please. If you can write and uh, Dr. Ahmed can go through the questions. Yes, you yes, are having no problem. Uh, technical problems okay. or voice problems. Yes. Can I go ahead? Can I go ahead? I can hear you loud and clear. Can I go ahead? 
I think uh, the same. I think the same. Uh, Abdul, I think the same. The same problem. Uh, if if you can write in the chat your question now, please. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, please. Okay, thank you very much. I said my second question is that uh, are there all opportunities for online distance learning for researchers from Africa? Thank you. Uh, you Dr. Lemia, you see the, you understand the question or not? I'm not sure I, I, I heard quite clear the questions. Uh, Please, if you're having some technical problems or, or voice breaking up, maybe you can write uh, your questions on the chat box and we can go them. And Dr. Ahmed will gladly answer each one of them. Okay, uh, uh, we we have we have now. Uh, uh, please. Uh, we have Sabrina. Sabrina. And we have also yes 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 Sabrina please yes uh, thank you very much uh, for your presentation uh, I uh, in cushion uh, just for the the stage for uh, research for okay. collaboration the laboratory uh, if you yes sabrina we can hear you perfectly sabrina We, yes, yes, I'm here. Yeah, we, yeah, we lost. Uh, just you, you, uh, if you can just mention your question, you you look to have. Uh, you ask about the collaboration with laboratory. The this laboratory, yeah. yeah, yeah. This uh, is yeah. Collaboration, scientific collaboration. Yeah, of course, because if you you have the contacts of each laboratory, you can. If you have also uh, um, your access. Uh, Profile in the platform, and you will be you you will be able to to get the contact, and of course you can write your email and uh, and send this email to the laboratory to uh, to to have the contacts. But if this laboratory has already uh, uh, put a, a job position or some uh, opportunities in the platform, you can apply. And I encourage you to use. Europa CV because Europa CV is uh, mandatory by European uh, uh, Union and for each application uh, we 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 need to have Europa CV not only uh, like uh, ordinary CV we need Europa CV this is the formal of uh, uh, each uh, uh, CV so we, we not, have not not for not for job uh, for uh, scientific collaboration uh like the stage like stage scientific uh, just to 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 have some connections yeah this okay uh there is a lot of ways not only one way uh this uh your access is the one way uh, to have the contacts and to be able to contact them but there is some uh ways i will show you for example cost uh, cost is uh, uh, European uh, project and is dedicated to 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 uh, to create a research project with laboratories from uh, a lot of countries from Egypt from African countries and from European countries. I will show you after this uh, uh, f top uh, presentation. So we, we can just uh, uh, have another Dr. question. Ahmed, I'm sorry, I have, yeah, uh, yeah. I have I, uh, a question. second question, please. For uh, Erasmus project. Okay. Yeah, okay. for uh, Erasmus project, uh, if you are in a relation with, uh, with this platform or uh, no? 
Uh, okay, I will show you Erasmus project and Horizon Europe project in the second platform, okay? Because the first platform is dedicated to your access and your access uh, is uh, like, um, uh, like a hub uh contain a lot of uh, information about uh, uh, collaboration between Europe and the world and a lot of opportunities and a lot of opportunities for mobility for researchers, a job position. But for Erasmus and Horizon Europe, there is another platform. And I will show this platform now. Just we we, we can have uh, uh, other another question before moving to the second platform. What do you think, Dr. Lamia? Um, well, I've gone through some of the questions. Uh, most of them, it's about the opportunities offered to PhD students. Okay, yes. in terms of, of grants, in terms of mobilities, uh, online uh, scholarships. Yes. What are the, the possibilities or the opportunities? Yes. Yeah, there's, there is a lot. There is a lot because uh, th this is the first stage from master's degree and uh, PhD student and after when you become a doctor and when you will be a senior researcher, you can just use filters, okay? Because there is a lot, a lot of opportunities for PhD students and to to have the possibility to stay one or two years in the Europe and uh, and, uh, and complete your research, uh, doctor studies and uh, go back to, to Egypt after. This is uh, possible and you can, I advise you. I advise you to create your account. This is for free. Mm -hmm. Please create your profile, your access account in this platform, and update your uh, all information and look for opportunities. Try to put uh, first stage of researchers, and you will see. And be connect with us because in your access Africa, each week we send a flash note. In this flash note, if there is some opportunities for. Uh, postdoctor fellowships or PhD students will put you in the in in the, in the loop. Okay, and uh, Ahmed, Ahmed, I think we I, can. I may ask a last question, please. I'm sorry yes. for the interruption. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Um, so, uh, if we are trying to apply for any of these opportunities uh, of your uh, access uh, Africa program, we need to uh, create our uh, Europass CV template. Yes. Is it yes. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. This is because important for all the yes. participants, if you are interested in any of uh, those very generous opportunities of the Euraxis Africa program, you need uh, to download the template of uh, the Europass uh, CV, and then you can um, uh, move it, uh, with all the documents. And it is for free. For free. So no fees. Okay. Th th that's this is the the main point. So. Uh, I, I think we have the last question from Ahmed. Uh, Ahmed, if you can. Hello. Yeah, hello, Ahmed. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Ahmed Malal, for the presentation. I really appreciate it. Uh, new eye opener. I'm uh, a master's student uh, okay. in Makiriri now, Makiriri, Uganda, under uh, an intra mobility African program, which is funded by the European Union through the African Union. Okay. And I'm wondering if like, if someone has already benefited from uh, funding from Europe, is it eligible to get another funding opportunity and maybe for PhD positions? I, I think, I think, I think, I think yes, no problem. It, it is possible to, yeah. It's possible, Ahmed, to, to have, if if you are eligible, and you have uh, a good CV, and your uh, and your profile uh, match with the the, the position, uh, and the requirements, why not? No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem because so it doesn't matter that you benefited already. No, does it? No, no. That that does it does it matter to 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 have a, a benefit to another European oh, okay. program? No problem. No problem. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think I, th I think we can move forward to to the to the second presentation. Okay, because today this is a online practical workshop, not not and not only info session. I, I want to give you uh, directly the demonstration of how to use the platform. So I will share my screen 
uh, again. And now I will move to uh, I will move to Google, uh, our friends. Uh, Google. Uh, okay. Uh, Sab Sabrina, if you can just mute your mic. Kindly unmute yourself, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so I am in Google, but now. Uh, so uh, I think we need to to check. Okay, now it's okay. Uh, funding like this. Okay, funding and tenders portal. Okay, this is uh, the portal, the main portal of European Commission. When I click, you will see. This EU funding and tender portal. Okay, we click on them. You will see. Uh, just for to have idea, this is the new interface of uh, the platform, uh, officially launched uh, last week. Okay, and in this platform, you will see all opportunities for funding, like and all European projects like Erasmus Plus like Horizon 2020, like Horizon Europe, and everything. So I will start my presentation to uh, to show you how to use this platform. And first of all, just to, to have idea, there, there is, we have uh, this menu, we have funding, call of calls of proposals, uh, partner search, EU programs, funding update, we have uh, this uh, the call of tenders and participant register. You have project and results, and I will show you uh, some results related to Egypt in uh, some programs, mainly Horizon Europe, news and events, work as an expert, and guidance and documents. And in this guidance and documents, I will click in. Uh, uh, we have how to participate. We have guidance. We have reference documents. We have FAQ, we have all things. We click on help desk and support like this. This is a pop-up. And for uh, help desk, uh, just we need to click to uh, funding. After that, we click to to the program period, we now we are in 21, 27. And of course we click on, look, there is a lot of programs and we look to Horizon Europe program, Horizon Europe program, this Horizon Europe program. And when we click on Horizon Europe program, you, we, we will see this option, national contact points for Horizon Europe. When we click on national contact points for Horizon Europe, you will have this interface and uh, this description, the network of national contact points is the main structure to provide guidance, practical information, assistance in all aspects of participation in Horizon Europe. NCPs are also established with in many non-EU and non-associate countries called third countries like Egypt. So what means that? Means that if, for example, just uh, to, to show you uh, before this, uh, the main architecture of Horizon Europe. So that's why I will try to um, uh, see my presentation if, if I have some slides related to Horizon Europe. Yes. This slide is related to Horizon Europe, and I will show you this is the Horizon Europe architecture. And while, as you see here, you have just to, to have idea, Horizon Europe program is the biggest program in research and innovation in the world with more than 100 billion, billion euro, not million, billion euro. And as you see here, we have the pillar one, the excellent science, 
and you have the pillar two, a global challenges and European industrial competitiveness, and you have pillar three, and you have some uh, actions uh, like widening participation and strengthening the European research area. But for us, for Africa, for Egypt, we we can focus in pillar one and pillar two, only pillar one and pillar two. Pillar one, we have MACA, we have European Research Council. This usually uh, bottom up uh, from we can participate as individual, as a researcher, but for period two, we must participate as organization because this is a collaborative project. So we need to have a lot of organizations like laboratories, universities, ONG, uh, public and private uh, bodies, uh, the ministries, uh, the government, uh, the private, the the SMEs, uh, the startups can participate on pillar two. And for pillar one, we can participate as individual. For some, some uh, call of topic or uh, proposal, we can participate as organization. But for us, this is the pillar one and pillar two. Why I uh, mention this architecture? Because for each uh, clusters, we have cluster one health, cluster two, cluster three, and we, we have the cluster six is the cluster food. The cluster five is climate, energy, and mobility. For each of one, we have the NCP, National Contact Point. This, this National Contact Point helps us and give us a lot of information, a lot of assistance to be able to participate in the call of proposal related to health, for example, all related to food, all related to climate and all related to this pillar one. So I will try to move now to the platform. And as you see here, I click, for example, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, national contact points for uh, all areas. And I will try to, for example, to select member states. Member state means that European, okay? European state. And after that, we click on the function. And as you see here, this is the architecture of Horizon Europe. For example, the NCP coordinator, uh, coordinator is the man or uh, the person uh, who coordinates the whole network of NCPs in, in each country. But if we need, for example, the NCP for health, because we need and the NCP for health, and we will select uh, uh, for member states, we need to enter in contact with, for example, uh, the NCP uh, uh, for health in Spain, okay, in Spain, like this. So I will try to deselect all and select, for example, I will try to look to Spain. Yes, this is Spain. And we select health. This is uh, uh, we look to health, and now we have three results, and we have Carolina, okay, uh, this is the NCP from Spain, and not only we have the number of, and we have this number, and we can have the email contact of Carolina, we have Marta, and we have uh, also Marta, uh, this, uh, the three NCP health, and for Spain. Why I need to be in contact with Carolina? Because if, for example, I am in Helwan University and uh, I am uh, in the field of health, I, and I, I would like to be in touch with uh, some organizations in the same field from Spain, in the thematic of health, the right persons are there. The right persons are there because we look to NCPs, the National Contact Points for Health in Spain, and we have the contacts from the platform for free. And we can write an email. Uh, we are a team from Helwan University, and we look forward to work with you, uh, for, uh, work with the, some organization in Spain. Can you please help us and share our message 
and the network of Spain because we look to be a partner in this project. This is a way to be a partner. For example, I want to, to see the NCPs in Egypt. We will see. Member states? No. Egypt is not uh, a member state, is not associate countries, but is a third country. Third country means that uh, a state, uh, 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 not associate country, we call that third country. And for third country, we will see if we have Egypt in the list. Okay, I will try to click and try to see Egypt. Yes, we have Egypt. Okay, and we have, uh, for, for example, uh, we select all to see, and we have the contacts of uh, Egyptian NCPs uh, for each uh, uh, thematic of uh, uh, Horizon Europe. For example, if uh, we need to uh, have uh, uh, some uh, uh, projects and uh, be a partner in project related to food or bio economy, I can contact Nur and Genji and I have the, 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 the contact, this is the contact email, okay? We'll have the email directly. Look, we will have, this is my workspace and we will have directly the possibility to, yes, to send the email to Noor. And uh, this Noor, and we have the NCP coordinator, Zainab al uh from uh, uh, Kassar al I think, uh, Science Technology and Innovation Funding Authority in, in, in Egypt. Not only this, but of course we can, uh, I just, I, I want to mention that you can look and find your right NCP in the member states or in the third country or in the associate country. In the associate country, we have Tunisia. And uh, of course, you can contact them and you can have the contacts in the right email. This is the main uh, help desk and support given by this FTOP portal, funding and tender opportunities portal. This is the first one. Okay, now we move to another options in this platform. So, uh, we will, uh, uh, before creating the account, because uh, of course you can create your account for free. Usually you can create your account for free. No problem about that. Uh, and of course you can, uh, uh, this is the platform. Okay, I want to, to uh, reduce, to see, or, uh, open to see funding, funding, okay, okay, I have now uh, the platform, it's okay, okay, uh, we have uh, the possibility to, uh, for example, to uh, 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 do a partner search, or a partner participant register. I will show you how to, to do that. Because if you need to participate in Erasmus Plus project or Horizon Europe project, you must, first of all, have the PIC number. The PIC number, this is the code, participant identification code. This is the PIC, uh, th this is nine digit number. For each organization, we need to have this so we need we we will search uh, 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 for Helwan University if Helwan have already the PIC number or not just we wait for one moment as you see uh, the features of this platform uh, with this new version is to uh, have this option the partner search before we have we doesn't this option, but now we have this option, this useful option for us. So, now we look for uh, uh, 
uh, Halwan. Okay, I will put Halwan. Halwan uh, University. Okay, and of course, I will try to uh, see. Uh, this is a partner search. Uh, not partner search. I I need the partner register before and find find a registered organization. We will see if Halwan University already there or not. So I will put Halwan like this university. And after that, I will put the country. I will put Egypt. Okay, we have look in Egypt, you have more than 1000 organizations already there in the website with the PIC number. Okay, we click. So we have Halwan. And what, what do you see here? You have Cairo University, Matruh University, uh, Matruh, uh, Cairo, Nile, uh, Suhag, uh, Mansoura, uh, Iskandaria. And look, we have Halwan University. This Halwan University and the PIC is validated. What means validated? Validated means that this is the official PIC number. If not validated, means that it is not official. And of course, we can click on Halwan University. And as we see here, this is the profile of Halwan University with the PIC. What means this PIC? The PIC is very important information because when you will coordinate or you will communicate with a partner, you need to give this PIC and they after uh, put this PIC in the platform of submission of proposal to add you to add Halwan University as a partner. But we, we can look to Halwan University profile. Actually, Halwan has uh, uh, 12 projects, but if we can see the project, we have 10 in Erasmus Plus, only one in Erasmus Plus 2027, and only one in FP7. And uh, you have one as a coordinator and 11 as a beneficiary. And my, for, for example, if I can analyze this profile, I can tell you that Halwan University, there is no research and innovation uh, participation uh, program because only FP7, not Horizon 2020 and not Horizon Europe. So this is the opportunity to Halwan to, to have not only Erasmus Plus, but Horizon Europe a program a project uh, to and we, when we speak in Horizon Europe, we speak in about research and innovation. When we present Erasmus, Erasmus is related to education, to capacity building in higher education, but Erasmus for education, Horizon Europe for research and innovation. Okay, this is the profile of Halloween. Okay, now we move to. Uh, 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 project and results. This is EU fund project. We click here. I will show you now uh, all figures and all statistics related to the participation of Egyptian organizations in the platform uh, in uh, all programs related to European Union, mainly Horizon Europe and Horizon 2020, etc. So uh, first of all, I need to click on, uh, okay, I will, okay. First of all, I, I, I want to the, click the, the period. And after that, we select Horizon Europe program. Okay, Horizon Europe, this Horizon Europe, and we have, go to horizon dashboard this is the option and for horizon dashboard i can click this go to horizon dashboard this one and when i click in horizon dashboard we have two options rni proposals rni projects and we will see rni projects like this projects uh, means that already accepted projects but proposals 
not only for, uh, for accepted, but just proposed. So we will see now uh, the participation. Okay, we we'll see now the participation uh, of uh, Egypt. When I click here, find, okay. So when I click K figures, we wait for just, uh, okay. We click on program, we click on Horizon Europe like this. I can just zoom. Horizon Europe, like this, okay. This Horizon Europe, and after that, the country name, I put Egypt. Okay, you will see now the net EU contribution related to Horizon Europe is 2.28 million euro, okay, and two, 0.28 million euro in Horizon Europe. And you can see uh, here, uh, all beneficiary uh, from, just in one second, okay. I will repeat. Okay. K okay, figures. After that, uh, I'll put uh, Egypt. I can Egypt. And the program is Horizon Europe. Okay. You have to. Is it? Okay. And we have the top participants. Uh, we have the top participants. Uh, and as you see here, the top participants we have, uh, for example, uh, I can just uh, try to see the participants. Yes, look, we have now uh, in Egypt and Horizon Europe, uh, all beneficiaries. We have the uh, Agricultural Research Center. We have the Academy of Scientific Research and Technology. We have North South Consulting. We have the Ain Shams University, the American University in Cairo, uh, Alexandria University, German International University, uh, uh, Cairo University. So this the uh, all beneficiary and for EU net contribution, this for example, 548 or this 527,000 euro uh, for this, uh, for the Academy of Scientific Research and Technology. So yeah. I hope that Halvan University can have also uh, a fund from Horizon Europe and you will see Halvan University in this list. Uh, this is the top participant from Egypt. So, and when we analyze the participation, we will see that we have uh, here uh, the the cluster two, uh, not cluster two, but uh, the Pelia two. We have the global challenges and the uh, uh, European industry competitive. We have 14 projects and you have nine projects in excellent science. The excellent science is the pillar one. This is the pillar two. And as you see, uh, this, the figures from Egypt. If we can compare, for example, uh, Egypt uh, with uh, uh, another country, uh, for example, uh, uh, Kenya, we put Kenya, you will see. Look, 
there is a big difference between 200 uh, 2.2 million euro and 32.61 million euro and as you see Kenya in Africa has a lot uh, uh, of uh, look the number of projects uh, 83 projects and more than 10 projects in excellent size and means that we have the possibility to participate and the main uh, uh, workshop for today is to to inform you about these uh, opportunities and to be able to 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 take part in this uh, uh, i have uh, uh, last uh, week uh, this uh, uh, a static uh, analysis to see the the production of scientific uh, publication uh, as you see here i will show you uh, Egypt, for example, okay, look, this is, uh, Egypt is the, the number one, actually, in Africa, uh, in terms of uh, the number of pub scientific publications, number one, number two is South Africa, okay, and it means that uh, you have uh, 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 the, uh, uh, excellent capacity in science, in research and innovation. So uh, means that you need to see how to use this capacity and to have the possibility to participate in Horizon Europe program because Horizon Europe program is dedicated to research and innovation. So now I will move to the final point in my presentation uh, for today for funding and uh, I will click on call of proposals like this and of course in call of proposals we have a filter first of all we need to use to filter the this one 2127 after that we need to click on horizon Europe and after that, this uh, the, this uh, the call, but uh, not only the call. This is the submission status. We need forthcoming or open for submission. No need to click on close it because if the call of proposal is already closed, so uh, it doesn't matter for us to 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 participate. But can click on all filters. And for all filters, we have another filters like this. And this is the program part. This is the architecture of Horizon Europe. This is the pillar one, and this is the pillar two, and this is the clusters, cluster one, cluster two, and as an NCP for each uh, cluster, we have NCPs also. So for example, we look for to see a uh, 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 call of proposal related to cl climate, energy, and mobility. Okay, I click here. And of course, uh, there is some, not only for the program part, but there is some destination, there is some cross-cutting priority, like uh, artificial intelligence, like Mediterranean initiative, like Africa. As you see here, we have only one, because Africa initiative too has, is already closed, but we, we, we are, Still waiting to Africa Initiative 3. The launch it will be in November 24. And we will have a lot of call topics related to Africa. And we have the possibility to participate. So, okay. Uh, view results. And as you see here, this call related to cluster 5. Because the cluster 5 is, uh, as I mentioned, the cluster 5 uh, when when I put uh, my presentation, the cluster five here, cluster five is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the, the cluster five is climate, energy, and mobility, and I I am here in the cluster five. When I click in this, for example, uh, call of proposal, okay, we have a lot of information. First of all, the planning opening date. 17 uh, September 24 and the deadline is 21 uh, uh, January uh, 2025 and of course 
you have we have the topic description okay the expected outcome the scope uh you have a lot of information about uh, gen the general condition of participations and of course i will just uh, uh, mention the budget of review look for each call we need to save this id why because when we communicate with a partner we need to put the topic id in our message and the topic ID is Horizon CL5 2024 G4 0205. This one, this is the ID. And uh, uh, we will see the budget of review uh, is 0205. Okay, so 0205. This one, 0205, this line, means that the budget is 10 million euro. And the contributions, 5 million euros, and the number, indicative number of grants is two, means that two, pro, two uh, uh, accepted uh, projects in this call topic. Uh, for each one, 5 million euros. So how to participate? If this call topic, it's okay, and uh, it's matched with our expertise, and we have a lot of expertise in our in Halwan University, in laboratory, and we can give a lot of uh, we can give uh, uh, we can participate actively in this proposal. So we need to look to partner because uh, as Egypt, not associate country, Egypt can't coordinate project, but Egypt can participate as a partner. So we click on. Partner search announcement. We click here. You will see now for this call topic, this call topic, this one, because this number, there is more than 129 expertise offers and expertise requests. We have eight. What means that? Means that there is a lot of organizations from world one of the world looks to be partner in this call topic and there is uh, some organizations looks to have some expertise means that they, they uh, those organizations are already uh, they have uh, the attention to submit as a coordinator but they looks to have some partner with some expertise so of course, there is a lot of flags here, Croatia, Estonia, Belgium, Austria, Austria, Portugal, Spain, Poland, Germany, France, etc. Spain, Romania, Sweden, okay? And uh, 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 we can, as uh, Halwan University, I can talk with the, uh, the person responsible for for uh, uh, the account uh, of the, the platform. Just, um, I went, I, I, uh, sorry, I need to refresh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I need to, this, yes, this uh, the real uh, uh, size. Okay. Uh, but I need to, to give my expertise here because also I need to, I, I look to be partner in this project. First of all, I need to sign up. Okay. I will sign up. Uh, I need to sign in. Sorry. Now I have my account. This is my name. Just for your information, as I am the admin of my account of my uh, university in Tunisia. I will show you, uh, I have University of SUS, I have the Scientific Ministry of uh, uh, Higher Education Scientific Research in Tunisia. And now I am connected with my account, okay, like this. Now I will find a call of proposals, okay. I will uh, uh, look for, uh, uh, Click on all filters, 
and for all filters, I click in global challenges. I click, for example, climate. Okay. And uh, view results. For example, this one or this one. Okay. Just for for to 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 have to have idea how to to do that. And as I am connected, as I am the administrator of my university account, I can click on view. And now, look, I have this button, add. This button in the top. I can add, click here. When I click on add, I can uh, add myself as a person, or I can add my organization uh, because I am the administration of uh, uh, I have the account of uh, I uh, just I need to wait to refresh uh, the platform and after that we can I will show you how to to add the expertise request or the expertise offer the expertise request when I am the coordinator. I intend to submit the proposal as a coordinator, but in Horizon Europe, only a member state and associate country can participate as a coordinator. Uh, when I look to, to be a partner, usually we add an expertise offer, okay? I need to refresh. I don't know why, because it. Okay. And I will refresh. Okay, I need to sign in. Let's uh try to um open a private to see funding and tenders working it comes uh, it's normal because this is the biggest platform so no no problem i will try to connect here sign in This is my, okay. Now I am connected. I will try to uh, find the call of proposals. It takes time, but uh, I don't know. Okay, now it's okay. Uh, the program 21-27, the program is Horizon Europe, uh, the submission only forthcoming, for example, and for all filters, we can take, for example, the global challenges, we can food, for example, not only, and for food, we have this one, okay, we click on this one, uh, we have all details about the project, the deadline, the budget and we have of of course the, the partner search announcement and the partner search announcement we have the option to see if we can for example uh add we have this option add okay we have albania netherlands and when i click in add you see i hope that it's okay or not 
if if uh, if not, I uh, I think it comes. I don't know why. Accept. Let's try for the final time, but just to to show you this uh, interface, you have uh, uh, to look the organization, uh, your organization. For example, for my case, I I can add University of Sousse, and uh, we will have the PIC number here. The type is uh, University Public Body, and I put expertise offer. And we can add a short description. We are a good team of researchers from University of Sousse or University of Halwan, and we are interested to be part in this uh, uh, call of proposal. And you can contact us and you can put your email. This is the message, and you will see the flag of Egypt in, the, in this part of uh, published partner search. And uh, this is good. And when you identify a lot of uh, call of proposal, for example, uh, a lot uh, more than 10, uh, 15, uh, 20 call of proposal and offer each of one, you can add your expertise offer. You will be able, you will have the possibility, the chance, you will uh, have the chance to be contacted by some organization from Europe and to be partner and to be for the first time uh, uh, able to participate in Horizon Europe program. Okay, this is, Main. I don't know. Uh, th I think this is the problem in my laptop. Uh, I don't think. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I think to. I, I need to restart my my laptop, but uh, I can do now. No problem. But it works. It works. Just you need you you need to be connected you, in your uh, account. You can uh, uh, create your account, but but for this kind of options only. Uh, the responsible in the, in the university can participate and can add this uh, uh, this option. But if you have, for example, your private uh, uh, company, uh, your your private association (ONG), uh, your uh, 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 startup, you can create your organization like this. I will show you how to create organization. I am here. This is my personal profile. I can. Click in my organization like this. I can add uh, 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 the organization, and after that, you can participate. Uh, you can okay like this, and you can continue registration, and you can add add all details about your uh, organization. Okay, you have uh, identification, organization data, legal information. Uh, authorized user summary and success. And after that, we will have the PIC number, but the PIC number is not validated. Why? Because uh, you need to apply in uh, uh, in a project. When the project uh, it will be accepted, you will be able to validate your PIC number because the European Commission uh, needs uh, some legal uh, information about your uh, organization and uh, need to validate your organization and you will approve your organization on the platform and the European PIC become validated and you can uh, have fund from uh, this European project. Just, I want to to show you how to to uh, to see. Uh, just Dr. Lamia, this is uh, the practical workshop, online practical workshop, just to show you how uh, to use your access platform and how to use the funding and tender opportunities portal. But when I will be in Egypt, I think we will organize uh, a practical uh, workshop related to how to write a good proposal under Horizon Europe mm -hmm. with a small group with, uh, I think with uh, not more than 20 or 25 uh, researchers from the university because we need to have the possibility to uh, to to have a, a project in Horizon Europe, and uh, I think we we will manage together to organize this uh, practical workshop, and we can organize an info session 
to present the whole program of Horizon Europe and how to participate and everything. I think I will stop here because uh, it's not easy to to do uh, uh, to present Horizon Europe only for, for one hour. But I I I hope that my presentation uh, give gives you some some useful information about the platform, and we can open the session to 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 have some questions. And uh, Dr. Lemmy, if you can re read the uh, the discussion or the Q and A uh, section, if there is some uh, questions. Um, maybe you can uh, stop sharing the screen, Dr. Ahmed. Yes, yes, I will do now. Is it? If you're done with the presentation, yeah? Yes, yes, I will do now. Now it's okay. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, um, thank you so much. The thing that I more is that uh, you are diving through the portals uh, information about uh, 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 information you can apply for this. From the statistics I've uh, I've noticed that um, yeah we 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 will have uh, a way long ahead when it comes to applying for horizon uh, who are applying for for those uh uh projects uh, because we do have the potentials we do have uh, the capacities the, the the people just need guidance from, from our part in order to be able to uh, um you know uh put this uh, uh, uh program uh, very prestigious as you've mentioned it is the big funding uh, uh, about uh, the presentation is uh, how to stick to the topic ID of the call. This is very important and we are struggling uh, every time uh, with the participants that it's very important to know the ID of the call because it's like Erasmus. Erasmus is very limited and uh, you know uh, it's not uh, it's very important of course you have the ID but I mean uh, Horizon Europe is more sophisticated uh, with more calls under each cluster, so you need to be uh, careful uh, when, whenever you are approaching your consortium or your partners, to give uh, the the clear perspective and the description of the because they are so many and they are numerous, and the uh, act. Actually, uh, maybe you get uh, my question is um, for the application uh, you've mentioned something about the application this will of course uh in charge another face-to-face -face session uh in Helwan university campus um is it a fixed application um is there a one template for all the all the or is it varied from one cluster to another uh for for uh, um for uh, the partner uh, section or just to 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 no, I mean for the projects. Uh, if, oh, if, okay. we are, if we are, for example, the cluster of the the cluster or what? Uh, is it this application and the same uh, procedure that you are going through the same kind of course, or is it different or varied from one cluster, one topic, other? Is the same template, the same template? Yeah. The same, yeah, the this same, is, the same philo good. philosophy, this is yeah, the same philosophy. And for each template, for each proposal, we have three parts. We have the excellence part, we have the impact part, and we have the implementation part. Mm -hmm. Each, each Horizon Europe project, mm -hmm. we have three parts. And mm -hmm. uh, of course, the experts, they will evaluate the project in the base of uh, each part. I I I I have uh, I have already uh, 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 an accepted project as a coordinator in Tunisia, and I can share with you wow. that now. Uh, I can share with you. Thank you, thank you. I can share with you uh, now. Uh, just uh, I, I will okay. try to. Uh, yeah, I, I will share you with you the evaluation letter. Okay, 
the evaluation letter uh, just mm -hmm. to have the information. Uh, okay. Uh, we have two. Yes. Okay. I am here. Process documentation. Okay, this evaluation letter summary. Okay, I click here. I click here. This is the project already accepted. Uh, this project uh, got twice times uh, for 24, 25 uh, is uh, related to excellent size. As you see here, um, this, uh, the project Tunisian well-being through inclusive science. And you see, uh, the summary we obtain 14.5 uh, uh, and we have obtained five the whole score in excellence we have obtained 4.5 in impact and we have obtained five the whole score in the quality and efficiency of the implementation and this uh, give us the possibility to have the funds. And this is a good project because we have a good total score because the score, the maximum is 15. So we have 14.5 uh, and the maximum score is 15. So we have the maximum now. And that's why this is the evaluation letter uh, for for uh, for uh, for twice night project and by European Commission and we I think we will send you the grant agreement uh, this month and we will start the project on 1st of May uh, for two years. And I assign this project with my association as a coordinator and I bring with me a lot of uh, partners from Tunisia, uh, from uh, universities, uh, public universities and some stakeholders in RNI. And the call is related to uh, MSCA citizens is European Research Night and the researchers at schools. This is the, the, the proposal, uh, the, the project. Uh, uh, and uh, that's why uh, I, I mean that uh, uh, all proposals are the same. We have three parts, uh, the excellence, the impact and the implementation. And we will be able to uh, animate face-to-face -face, uh, workshop and uh, show you how to contribute because uh, in Egypt you can you, you cannot uh, 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 submit proposal as a coordinator but you can participate as a partner but you if you participate as a partner you need you must to know uh, what we can do in the proposal and how you can contribute in the proposal in each part because this is a collaborative project. So all clusters, Pelia 1, Pelia 2, we have the same template, the same. And we have a lot of guidelines in, the, in the each template. So we need to be proactive, more proactive, and we need to enhance the visibility of your groups of researchers, of your university, to be able to be part and take part. Why Kenya have 36 million euro? And Egypt is the first in the, in the term of publication, scientific publication, mm -hmm. because the, they are more proactive. So we mm -hmm. need, as Arabic countries, like us in Tunis or, or Jazeera, Maghreb, Masr, uh, we need to, to be more proactive, more aggressive, and to get the opportunity. This is my message for you, as I am also a regional representative for Uratus, but also I am I am from Tunisia and Arabi. Uh, I need to that uh, uh, the North Africa take part in Horizon Europe, the same like uh, like uh, like uh, uh, Sub-Saharan African countries. Yeah, definitely, I totally agree, and uh, with the with the joint efforts. 
uh, I think we can make it. And as you've mentioned, uh, we need to be more proactive and uh, we need to have self-confidence. We can do this and uh, uh, not to be afraid of taking risks. And uh, speaking of, uh, I, I, uh, I can tell you that we have submitted our first Horizon Europe uh, uh, project in, 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 in two months ago, and we're still, um, you know, uh, waiting for the results. Um, it was an experience, uh, a great experience, yeah. Uh, but uh, we were like taking baby steps, uh, yes. but uh, we, we were getting there. Uh, as long as you're trying, as long as you're approaching yes. your goals, uh, um, it, the pace, um, it doesn't matter. It's, it's about the context that you are working on. But if you are believing in what you're doing, this is totally um, um, something else, and it will definitely make it work for you at the end of the day. Exactly. Um, exactly. I don't know what to say, uh, Dr. Ahmed Diani. It's mm -hmm. it's um, it's it's been a pleasure getting to know to know you more and be um, with us for this very short time. It's yes, it's uh, an hour and a half, but uh, for me, it's uh, we need more and more to uh to to know about your expertise and about the opportunities that are out there for us and maybe we can yes uh, organize together um the agenda for the face-to-face -face, yes. uh, uh, session uh, and the campus and the topic that you are going to um address uh and it's a pleasure always to uh, have you in Helwan university either online or uh, uh, in face-to-face -face, um, um uh, uh, action uh, so if there is any questions um, um, you would like to ask uh, Dr. Ahmed before we uh, end our uh, webinar, you can uh, ask him if there is any questions. <coughs> so from our side, uh, I, will, I will send you the recording video for this webinar for today. Okay. You can Excellent. share this recording for with all colleagues. Excellent. Can you can you just because I have a question about uh, how to uh, to to get to uh, contact with you? Maybe you can write your email. Uh, on Africa. The chat box uh, yes, you you can Africa Africa at yeah, because at some your of access. the participants were asking yeah. about how to get to know Africa at the... uh, youraccess.net or Ahmed uh, Malel at youraccess.net. This is yeah. Uh, we are in. Uh, now we are two in uh, Africa. I have my colleague in uh, Addis Ababa uh, from Ethiopia and mm -hmm. me from Tunisia. And we are two to cover the whole of continent. But me, my focus is to have the North Africa, Arabophone countries and Francophone countries more than Anglophone countries. No problem. Okay. Okay. So we are, uh, this... we are privileged to have you, Dr. Ahmed. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, the privilege is for my, mine. The pleasure is mine. Thank you so much. Thank you so okay. much for this very uh, informative. Um, I, I personally enjoyed every single moment of uh, this info session, and we uh, we are expecting more, uh, especially uh, if we are going to apply for Horizon uh, Europe program and increase the statistics a bit about uh, the number of the projects. Um, uh, because, uh, yeah, I think uh, um, we need to work on this area uh, together uh, in order to have uh, the the uh, the the objectives that we all uh, seek that we are represented in uh, uh, as the North Africa countries in uh, in the most uh, uh, largest uh, uh, funding program which is Horizon Europe. Thank you again yes. for your time and effort. Just, uh, and, uh, um, Dr. Lamia, I see uh, a good question uh, related to yeah. the difference between Horizon Europe and Prima program. Uh, there is a difference because Horizon yes. Europe, is, this is the biggest program, but Prima is a bilateral uh, uh, program between some countries in the Mediterranean uh, region, between uh, mm -hmm. the, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean region. And uh, for each country, government contributes with money, not only Europe. For example, Egypt mm -hmm. uh, or Tunisia contribute to this Prima program. Not 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 like Horizon Europe. Horizon Europe is the biggest one. Horizon Europe, the biggest one, and we have the opportunity to have a, a good, a lot of money, a lot of funds from Horizon Europe. Also, this is the uh, just my answer to this question. Yeah, 
And thank you, Dr. Lamia. Thank you so much for being here with us and Ramadan Kareem and the Happy Eid. We are like three or four days away from uh, Eid al-Fitr. Thank you so much for thank your you. time again. And uh, we will be expecting your visit uh, soon Allah. in in Egypt Inshallah. and, when, and we will be setting together the dates and the time and the agenda as always. Thank you yes. so much for also the participants and for being with us today. Uh, many thanks for uh, your time. And uh, uh, inshallah, we will be um, uh, see more of Dr. Ahmed in person in, in the coming uh, in the coming time. And we will be notifying you about the exact date of uh, the face-to-face -face session, inshallah. Thank you so much. Inshallah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Goodbye.